In the metals quadrant today, taking a look at the July platinum contract, which actually gapped lower today, down almost three quarters of a percent off the open. The high today, 1256.10. Settlement yesterday, 1265.50. So that was a 70 basis point move lower off of that gap. So again, almost three quarters of 1%. And despite being down almost 4% on the lows today, overall price action is still strong for platinum. Platinum has recovered over 50% of that February to March correction that we saw off of those highs that were almost six and a half year highs. Now, despite the price action in platinum on a daily basis, moving in both directions, this price action recently is still pointing up. It's still very strong. And if you look at when platinum came off those lows in March, after it fell over 17% in that corrective move, it's actually up about 11.9% counting today's move. The settlement today though, down about 1.83%, got a little of it back off of the lows. 1216 was the low, and that was down 3.91%. Now industrial demand has been part of the story for platinum because like silver, platinum has industrial characteristics and precious metal characteristics. Now today, most assets suffered with the stock sell-off, including gold and silver, and platinum seemed to get a little bit of a wind off of that to the downside, but coming back a little bit might have been part of that industrial potential that it has. Now, there's a little bit of skepticism about an infrastructure deal getting done in Washington. Tomorrow, President Biden actually has a meeting with Republicans, but with that skepticism comes a little bit of weakness on the industrial side, at least not enough to overcome the losses in the precious side of this metal. We did see copper up today, so it didn't really apply to copper that much, but it fell later in the day as well. Now, demand is growing for platinum. Tightening emission standards and green energy fuel cell technology, both of which use platinum. Platinum's best known for being in catalytic converters, and as the emission standards get even tighter, there's gonna be a little bit more demand for platinum than there was the prior year, and then again, the whole green energy shift that we're feeling is pushing long-term demand estimates up. Some estimates have between 300,000 ounces and 600,000 ounces of additional platinum demand being generated by 2030. So overall, the long-term strength of platinum pricing looks good as well.